In today's video, I will be doing a breakdown of a trade I took today on January 18th, which is this Thursday, and it's going to be a continuation of yesterday's video where I did the midweek market recap, and I'm going to have an explanation on why this connects to previous uh, day's video. And uh, yeah, that's basically what I'm going to be breaking down, and let's get into it. So. I took a retracement long trade here and I entered with three contracts as you can see I forgot to attach my OSO so OSO automatically places a stop loss on the opposite position so if the market does so suddenly come crashing in the opposite way or if you're shorting come shooting up in the opposite way then at least you have a stop loss instead of trying to chase where it goes and then now you're down like to 300 so i enter my trade three contracts i put two at 10 points and i'm just you know in the morning i was kind of feeling the market out really big long which i did catch that's why i was my open pl my closed pl was actually seven dollars but i never let it ran i don't know why i didn't but i was kind of feeling the market out in the beginning saw that big big long waited for it to come back down into the support zone on the two minute and one minute chart which the one minute chart is the right hand side of the screen and the two minute chart is the middle chart so it came back down in the uh, support zones i kind of you know felt the market there went in after it pulled back down again as you can see it pulled up pulled back down and then here takes out my 10 points at my two contracts at 10 points then I put one at break even and I'm just I want it to go higher so that's why I'm kind of like fiddling around with the uh, one short you know contract because I'm only in one contract now I'm kind of like fiddling around with it trying to see where I can put it so I can gain the most in this trade and then you know i've decided to put it at the fast moving average on the one minute chart so then i kind of start trailing it as the trade starts going in my direction and it reaches 10 points again so then i put it at five points and i really wanted to shoot up higher but i kind of see with the previous candlestick on the one minute chart you can see that this candlestick right here shot down so that's why i put it at five points because i didn't know if it was going to go higher but seeing this rejection i'm like all right i'm gonna put up five points get my ten dollars to get the most out of this trade which which this trade in total gave me 15 points took two off at 10 points took one off at five points total 15 points my closed pl is now 55 dollars with fees without fees it's a total of $60 and you know that's why you put your stop loss at five points because if you saw just now you know I told you I saw this candlestick I saw the rejection I'm like all right I'm gonna move it up to five points because I don't know if it's gonna go higher or not but seeing this you know kind of told me all right it might come back down it might not so i'm just gonna play it safe capture the most they can i could have just closed it out at 20 points but if i closed it out at 20 points and it shot up you know <laughs> shot up to like 40 50 dollars and then i could have captured 30 40 points so i didn't want that you know my emotion to get in the way of that so i played it safe put it at 10 dollars five points and seeing this rejection that's why i played it safe and then what do you know what happens next momentum shift downward spikes down takes me out and it was a good thing i did get out at this point because later in the day it did come trickle down and shoot dramatically down and it shot down uh like 20 minutes later because of the nine o'clock news from the atlanta fed president speaking so it was a good retracement long trade and the reason why i'm telling you about this support zone on this long trade is in previous video from yesterday i talked about 
the midweek market recap where I talked about a big zone on the weekly and daily if you remember the weekly zone had support on the fast moving average on the pink line and the daily zone had um, was between the bright green moving average and the dark green moving average and it bounced in that zone of support and if you watched the video from yesterday I told you it was either going to hit the bright green moving average shoot back up or break it and keep coming down which it hit the support line with the strong levels of support and did shoot up that's why I was very comfortable taking this retracement long trade and yeah if you go back watch that video come back to this video everything's gonna make sense and yeah that's basically it breakdown of today's trade I took two today one if I stuck with it I would have been up $80 this one if I stuck with it which I did stick with it I did get my full points from it and I'm trading MNQ because I'm trying to get a feel for the market I don't have experience to go trading NQ yet so I'm trying to gain that experience to train to get NQ level but if this was NQ this $60 this $55 would have been $550 and this would have been $600 and if I stuck with the previous trade and I would have been up like $150 $160 on MNQ NQ is 10 times that so I would have been up $1500 in the day that's the difference between NQ and MNQ and yeah that's basically it make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next video